Hey, what up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing Liddy. Let's get into it. Before we do, as always, remember, when in doubt, pull your mother effing blunt out. What's up, Barb City gang? What's going on? I miss you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I have been feeling very discouraged. I don't know what's going on with the algorithm, but I work very hard on my content and it's not being pushed out. And I know that you guys support me and you guys do want to see my videos. A lot of you guys are letting me know that you're not getting your notifications. So just let me know that you guys are still here effing with me in my comments by putting hashtag BCG. Again, I love and I appreciate you guys so much. And I am here uploading every single day. Do not forget to like this video. Please like this video and help me get it into the algorithm. Okay. With that being said, our first topic is going to be about Scarlet. Um, I have a opinion on Scarlet that I want to share with you guys. And I know a lot of y'all are not going to agree because Scarlet does give like follower vibes. But anyway, um, she put out a freestyle on her Instagram and it is too dangerously in love by Destiny's Child. And I do believe that it's Beyonce's voice that's still playing in the background i could be wrong but anyway it does sound really nice and it also you know is just as cute as the last song that she put out that people were criticizing her about basically saying like she was trying to be someone that she's not and things like that now i want scarlet to win the reason why is because she's already a dark-skinned woman which is a huge disadvantage in the industry. And you guys know, in the general public's opinion, not mine, um, as far as the other girls, Scarlet's looks are not up to par like theirs, okay? So like I said, she already has some things against her. And because of that, I do hope that she's able to win and also her cute side of things is working for her, her embracing her sexy side. So I do hope that she continues to do that as well. And I also hope that she continues to do, to do that because she made it very clear that it makes her feel really good. And she has never felt this beautiful before in her life. Okay, so with that being said, let's go on ahead and move forward into Remy Ma. So Remy Ma was on Family Feud, you guys, and Family Feud was most definitely being messy. They asked her to fill in the blank of um, Blank Friday, right? And people are feeling like Remy Ma instantly thought of Pink Friday because she kind of rolled her eyes and laughed. But I'm going to play the clip and then we're going to get into that. Check this out. Hold on. Fill in the blank. Blank Friday. Black Friday. Uh -huh. So if you guys want to see that actual clip so you guys can see her facial expression, I did get that off of the neighborhood talk if you want to see what we're talking about. But anyways, in my opinion, I definitely feel like the first thing she thought about was Pink Friday. And she probably was thinking just like we were that Family Feud was very messy for asking that question in the first place. And it's just like, that is so embarrassing. I don't know. But anyways, here were some of the comments good friday is the answer but her conscience focused on pink lmao pink came right to her head and one more person said she definitely was thinking pink and in my opinion just like the comments she definitely was about to slip up and say pink friday anyway let's go on ahead and move forward into little kim little kim has released some music you guys and we have to get into it because at the end of the day i am so sick and tired of people 
saying like this is the goat and Nicki Minaj stole her style and just all these things I'm so tired of hearing it because obviously her style was not worth stealing so let's get into that as y'all can see here it says Lil Kim released some new heat a sampled vanilla iced tea or excuse me <laughs> she sampled vanilla ice's 90s hit song ice baby for the new song nice ice so lil kim's song is called nice ice and she sampled the 90s hit ice ice baby okay did y'all get all that because i sounded like a damn fool for a second there barb city mother effing blipper row anyway as you guys can see here on youtube which is a free platform okay Little Kim's song has now been out more than four hours, but in four hours, she was not even able to get a thousand mother effing views, child. <laughs> <laughs> and this is supposed to be you guys' queen of rap. Something is not adding up, but I do want to read a few comments saying um, y'all are always defending her and crowning her the queen. This song should chart next week, right? I'm waiting for her peers who say she's the GOAT to support her. We have not seen one peer post this song, okay? Not just that. All the hooping and hollering that you guys do in my comments consistently, she should have way more then mother effing 900 effing views in four hours clock it clock it another comment said and y'all better go stream and support since y'all are always hollering now make it go top 30 at least since y'all say that she's the goat don't worry i will wait we are tired and we're definitely tired because for y'all, like I said, to be sitting up going back and forth online all day about Nicki Minaj not being the queen and how Kim is above Nicki and blah, 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 blah. But like I said, uh, she can't get a thousand views, you guys, in four hours. So I don't ever want to have this conversation ever again. Okay. With that being said, let's go on ahead and move forward into Lizzo. So Lizzo decided to post a video of herself basically tracking her weight loss because I guess she has been working out. Now, I thought Lizzo has always been working out. I don't know why people are saying this is something new for her. But again, I could be wrong. But when she posted this video, you guys, it did spark a conversation. And we're going to get into it after I play the clip. Check this out. So after Lizzo uploaded this video, you guys, people started commenting, saying things like, oh, so cyber clean does work. Um, peer pressure does work. Things like that. Like basically saying, oh, I'm, I'm glad that we shamed her because now she's getting herself together. So here were some of those comments saying sometimes peer pressure is a good thing. And another person saying cyber bullying does work. So let's be very clear. Although it's kind of hard to feel bad for Lizzo because we have not heard an update from that lawsuit. It kind of just disappeared. And at this point, I'm like, did she settle? Did they drop the case? Like what's going on with that? So although it's kind of hard to feel bad for her, it's just like, it makes you wonder, was that whole situation her projecting onto those ladies? Because at the end of the day, Lizzo has been going through this type of stuff for quite some time now. And it's not okay. It's not okay to body aim anyone. And it's not okay for anyone in their right mind to believe that, oh, my cyber bullying worked. And now this person is getting their health together. That's not okay, you guys. But 
that's my opinion on that. Let me know what you guys feel about it. I don't have that much to say because like I said, we have not forgotten about that mother effing lawsuit and we're not going to forget about it until we get an update. Okay, let's go on ahead and move forward into Google and Siri deciding to clock Botsy B's T. So this is not the first time this happened to Botsy B. Actually, a while back, I also reported that we were able to type in the search bar industry plant and it will pull Cardi B up. After that, you know, reached the headlines or blogs, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, suddenly Google changed that and that was no longer being pulled up. So people did feel like um, some calls were made behind the scenes. So I would not be surprised if this does end up being changed when we wake up tomorrow. But anyways, you guys, someone decided to wake up today and type in payola on that good old search bar. And of course, y'all already know, Botsy B, the payola queen, in my opinion, allegedly did come up. It says fans notice that when you Google payola, the shady practice of paying for airplay hashtag Cardi B is the first thing that pops up. So of course, people decided to go looking for themselves and they were commenting and saying, oh my God, I had to Google it and it came out to be true. I Googled it. Cardi appears more than once. And another person said it's true. And y'all know Barb City has to go and get her very own receipt. So, of course, I used my very own device and typed in Paola. And as you guys can see here, Bot CB did come up. Now, of course, I'm under images, you guys. I messed up right there. I don't know why I'm not on all. But you guys can simply do the same thing that we did and type in Paola. Now, that is embarrassing. I'm not surprised because Botsy B has been exposed many times for using Paola. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys feel about it. And let's get into this very juicy topic and add some razzle dazzle onto this mother effing video and get into none other than Nikki mother effing Minaj. Okay, so I want to be clear. Um, people were calling Nikki Minaj's uh queen a flop. People were calling Pink Friday 2 a flop, right? As far as numbers and where they debuted on the chart and things like that, right? So I just want to say before we even get into this that nobody no female rapper has been able to debut how Nicki Minaj debuted with Queen, let alone Queen. Although Queen charted um, lower than Pink Friday 2 and also had lower sales than Pink Friday 2, these girls have not even been able to outperform that. But let's just stay on Pink Friday too. As you guys can see here, Coily Ray's last project sold 10K. JT, 27K. Ice Spice, 28K. Um, Sexy Red, 28K. Lotto, 29K. Glorilla, 33K. Megan Thee Stallion, 64K. Doja Cat, 72K. And Nicki Minaj, 228k and need i remind you that was after billboard took a hundred thousand peer mother effing sales from Nicki minaj and the barb so it's just like when you guys are discussing Nicki minaj and these new rap girls please put some mother effing respect on her name there is no reason why the comparisons should even be happening okay literally Look at these numbers. They are not touching this project or the project that they called a flop before that, okay? And another thing that I want to ask you guys before we get up out of here, Botsy B is supposed to be dropping an album this year. Do you guys think that she is going to crack at least 
a hundred K because it seems like the girls are having a very hard time doing that. So do you guys think that at least bot CB would be able to do that? I don't know. Let me know what you guys feel about all these topics. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.